everyone, so you may have noticed by now that I'm quite an awkward person and I always find myself getting into situations where I get really uncomfortable and one of the situations that happens most often is when you meet a stranger and they know everything about you and you don't know anything about them. I'm not talking about a stalker, at least I hope they're not, but more of like a family friend that they've seen you grow up as a child but you have no recollection of them at all and then you've got to have a conversation with them for about 15 minutes and you literally have no idea who they are or what to ask them and for me I never have the heart to tell anybody that I don't have a clue who they are so the situations often tend to end up going like this <laughs> Last time I saw you, you went up to my knee. Yeah, you have grown. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what people do. They grow up, they get taller. <laughs> your nan was telling me about your boyfriend. Or lack of, should I say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, I don't have a boyfriend. No. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you tell your nan that I said hi, yeah? Gotta say that. I would t tell your nan the sponge is red. She'll know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll let her know. I'm in front of college. I just, I've just finished college now, so, you know, I'm free. Going to university, are you? No, 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 I'm not going to university, no, not this year. Oh, well. I'm sure your mother won't be too pleased with that, will she? She always said if her child didn't go to university, she would disown them in a heartbeat. Oh. Oh, did she say that? Oh. Yeah, your nan told me you put on a few pounds. You must have lost it, haven't you? Yeah, I, I might have put on a few pounds. I mean, I, I didn't really notice it. Oh no, she said you were bloody huge. <laughs> yeah, she said, she said when you walked in a room, it was like an elephant had come in. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't, I didn't know that she said that. Yeah, I think she told me not to tell you that, actually. Don't forget I said that, yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you, Georgia. Oh, my name's not Georgia. What? You ain't Georgia. No, no, I'm not, I'm not Georgia. Well, why didn't you say so? So we, I've just been talking to you. And you're not even Georgia. Who are you? It's Amy. Oh, what, what, you, so you don't know who I am? Why didn't you say? Well, well, I couldn't remember who you were, so I just thought maybe, you know, I'd forgotten who you were. I, I just, I didn't want to say anything, you know? Didn't want to seem rude. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know, I've missed my bus because of you now. I, just, I didn't mean to waste your time on purpose yeah maybe you should just tell someone that you don't know who you are right yeah uh, okay I'll, I'll, I'll do it next time okay. right oh, God. yeah maybe next time it would just be easier to tell them that i don't know who they are rather than going through that traumatic experience anyway guys if you've been in a similar situation to this then please let me know in the comments down below as always my social media links are in the description don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on Thursday. Bye! And I just want to say that Hello Kitty is my idol. Like, I have a list of idols, right? It goes Beyonce, Hello Kitty, Sharon Osbourne. My cat got, just got stuck in a cat flap. I can't even remember what I asked myself. This always happens. University. Then, there's a cat coming through my legs. <laughs>